Hello folks, again, we're out on a Wednesday, it's Wednesday the 8th of February. Uh, best intention to climb up to the top of Blorange Mountain and set up a station on the top of there to get into the homesteaders net. But as you can see, which is quite a regular occurrence, uh, external forces do have an effect on our plans, such as a bloody great traffic jam. So uh, who knows if we're going to make it? Probably try and call in from the car and then walk up around the top for a bit of exercise. Who knows? But uh, there you go. That's the state of the play. Catch you soon. Okay, folks, better late than never. So we are going to make an attempt to get to the top and call into the net. It's going to be a close run thing, but uh, worth a try. Operating from the car is always um, the least preferred option for me in these circumstances. Number one, portable at the top of the hill, mountain. Number two, operate from the car. Number three, operate from home. That's my order of preference with the operate from home being my least favorite of the three, but sometimes needs must. Anyway, gonna be a decent little uh, hike up there and you do pick up uh, a better takeoff for the signal, being that little bit higher and with a bit of extra view of the horizon. So we better get a wriggle on, or oh, this is just not gonna happen. Uh, Catching a bit. Any copy on uh, Nigel Autocruiser? QSK. Uh, one moment, Alan. QSK, go. Hey, good afternoon, Ian. It's uh, Gary 104 from the uh, summit of Blorange Mountain. Ah, good afternoon, Gary. The Blorange, eh? Ooh, in dragon country, hey? Okay, um, right, well, it's in that case, well, seeing as you're, you're, um, you're on at the moment, um, have you any signal on uh, the uh, Dorset station? I do. Normally I wouldn't be so rude when I called in, but I thought I'd try and get uh, Nigel before uh, he went QRT there. So uh, he's making it a Radio 4, getting uh, knocked around a little bit by you-know-who there, uh, Ian. Back to you. Understood. OK, well, I think Alan will, uh, will forgive me if I uh, ask you to, uh, to give Nigel a shout then. So... Uh, yeah, give him a crack. Yeah, but it's um, Nigel Auto Cruiser Dorset. Any copy on uh, Gary 104, South Wales, Blorange Mountain? Any copy? Uh, Nigel Auto Cruiser uh, 252 coming back to you. Um, any copy on Gary Charlie Tango 104, Blorange Mountain? Uh, he can give you a call. Apart from a little bit of QRM over a tiny little bit was over, but so yeah, pass on my best regards and uh, better luck next time. It's a long time since I got Nigel in the radio. Okay, I'll take a standby. We're just sort of not even completed setting up yet, so uh, call me in uh, when you so see fit. There, uh, Ian, back to you. Yeah, many thanks. Okay, uh, yeah, Nigel, uh, message from Gary. Yeah, he asked me to pass on the uh, you know, best regards to yourself and uh, long time since he had had you in the logbook. So. Uh, yeah, it's just a shame that he couldn't manage it today. But uh, anyway, hopefully uh, maybe later on, later this afternoon. Okay, um, Alan, 1654. Um, I take it you're copying uh, Nigel Auto Cruiser. Yeah, if he can get me. Nigel Auto... Can't be far off there, uh, Brian. I think there's a bit of terrain between us, but um, yeah, nice and high up today. And I tell you what, the 
view up here is absolutely glorious this afternoon there, Brian Matthew. Yeah, it's uh, not a bad view up here today. Uh, a little bit of rest in the distance, but uh, not too bad. I'll tell you what, last week I went up to um, one of the hills in Mid Wales somewhere and it was so windy I couldn't stand up. And now there's already a breath of wind, there's a little bit of breeze, but chalk and cheese compared with last week there, Brian Matthew. Yeah, I expect it's like a difference. Yeah, I see what. Mid Wells is surprisingly windy. I thought I'd seen it all down this way, but Mid Wells, it was literally a job to stand up. I went up to a couple of peaks, uh, not far from the little cabin, and uh, I tell you what, we nearly got blown straight back down again, mate. Back to you. Yeah, some of that got knocked around by you know who, but um, yeah, we were uh, hopefully. Um, I've come through a few walks now, so uh, back over to some of the bigger ones over in uh, in the Brecon Beacons, uh, hopefully from uh, next week onwards there, Brian, that's you. Yeah, so pleased to make it in last week from the from the motor there, Brian. Always a pleasure, mate. If I ever can, I'll try and make it in, even if it's 30 seconds before uh, close of play, mate, that's you. Yeah, it was a big course, so I think, and uh, some weeks, uh, Yes, yeah, so I always leave everything to the last minute, but um, uh, we weren't due to check in till four, and literally as we pulled up to the place, I heard some voices come through. So uh, a bit of a Billy bonus last week, wasn't expecting to make it in. But uh, today, two big traffic jams on the way, so that's cost us a half hour at least there, Brian, back to you. Yeah, well, I don't have to, uh... Yeah, I'm doing well this last few months there, Brian. Anyway, mate, I hope you're uh, keeping well and uh, won't hog it there because uh, I'm usually the one that makes everyone work a bit of overtime. So uh, all the best, I'm AT, and uh, hopefully catch you uh, next Wednesday, if not sooner there, Brian. Righto folks, just come back down, been over to take a few photos of the transmission towers at the Fox Hunters car park and um, I'm going to skip the noodles, but I'm just having some noodles, I'm going to wait for tea time, but what I am going to indulge in is a, a nice three month coffee, there you go, icing on the cake, lovely little day out up there, or afternoon out up there. Absolutely superb. Great to get in on the net as always. Uh, we are having a little bit of interference at the moment, or quite a lot of interference at the moment, from the Eastern European taxi stations, which is a shame. But um, still had a chat with a few of the guys on there, and uh, jolly good it was too. So uh, there we are. I shall raise my cup of coffee to you all, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh. <laughs>